beta valve operation? Everything? The beta valve. Yeah, go, go right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, these pictures, the beta valve shows the beta valve down here, but yeah. ours is up here, huh? With the lift yeah. rod, yeah. So I'm going to show. I want to show uh, my other pictures. Beta system one more time for anybody wanting to listen to it. This one they call they don't say beta valve they say beta control. That's our this is the this is the PT six eight dash twenty right here. Yeah. So Mike, this is the one. This is on the prop governor on the top. Yes. And then the overspeed is on the side. At uh, ten o'clock. Yeah. Overspeed propeller governor. What is the yeah. other one? What is the other one? It says governor on there. It's the it's the turbine overspeed. Oh, oh so that's the compressor turbine governor. That's the M one. That is the tur power, power turbine. turbine. Oh, power power. Yeah, turbine. I guess it just it's just like So there's supposed to be that one's only supposed to have three governors or three? Three. Yeah, three. It's supposed to have three. But only two are connected. The one is that Okay, so this one's hiding it. This is the propeller, propeller governor over speed. So looking forward, uh, look this, that's forward, yeah? Yeah. And power turbine governor interconnect rod. Okay, they don't, they don't show the, they don't show the, the other governor. Okay, so. But they're calling it a uh, power turbine governor. So power turbine is the power that goes to the gearbox. Okay, so you have, that's your prop over speed governor that's on it. Uh -huh. On the left side of the engine. Ah! Can we go down and, and stay with On the left side of the engine. Okay, I gotta find another picture with the left side. <laughs> because the other side is. Because the other side is linked to your 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 pop governor. So the part turbo the one has a linkage on it. So that's the one that's hooked up right now. That's the one that uses the dumps the the air to the controlling thing. That's the one that's hooked up straight to the T-Y. Yeah, that's not, the description of the book said the, the overspeed governor is the one that's connected to the PY air on that speed, which is the one that's on the right side of the engine. Which overspeed governor? That's what I was trying to There's, there, yeah, there's the uh, yeah. it, 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 it's the, 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 the power turbine. Oh, power turbine. Yeah, okay. <coughs> so that's the, that's the one that's hooked up where's the M1? Where's the one for the compressor turn? Is that internal to the FC? Is 
two speed go on her. That's just that's just propeller. Your PY bleed. Okay, so that and, one NF over speed governor right here. Oh. NF. NF. That's the NF, NF is. is power turbine speed. Power turbine, okay. Power turbine. So that's the one that's on, that's on the right side. And it's got the beta link yeah. connected to it. Yeah, and then uh, PY bleed. This is a little different than what's actually on there. You don't have see what they've done, the later models they've combined all the governors. I think the latest one only has one governor. That does everything so that's why you see the py bleed in here but you see the beta valve over here yeah okay so that's why i wanted to go with only just one so we'll just go with the one we have okay. make it simple so that's the one on the right so that's the you can see the line you can see that yeah, the, the, the stainless line. steel line going to the uh, fuel control unit okay so then that's your power over speed other side is a prop over speed That's where we had a problem with one of those. So we sent both fuel controls out for our bench check to the mainland. That was when Bill was trying to, they were trying to figure out what was wrong. We couldn't get RPM. Go full car. Oh, is that the one where Something the, like that. The bleed, bleed air, right? They thought the bleed air, and what, I stayed out of that. Control, yeah. That was a battle between Bill and Evelyn, and I stayed out of that one. Okay, so that, that's the N2 governor. So the N1 governor is, is part of the FCU that controls the compressor. I don't order. know that there's an N1 governor. N2. N2 is, is the power, right? N2's power. <coughs> it's the That's a propeller governor. And there should be one for the for the compressor turbine. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, that might be Let's see. Let's um, let me see if I can find in the in the actual manual here. Okay, here, I found it. Okay. This is out of the manual. The 
it's under power turbine governor. BP 6A 6 series and dash 20 series. The power turbine governor mounted on the reduction gearbox of the engine is driven at a speed proportional to the power turbine speed NF. The function of the power turbine governor is to limit the maximum speed of the power turbine NF as during normal operation. NF is controlled by the propeller governor. However, if a malfunction occurs, the power turbine will the power turbine governor will prevent power turbine speed NF from exceeding 105%. This is accomplished by reducing the fuel flow in the FCU. So it's, okay. I, get, I, get that, I get that part. You're talking about their, the N2. So that's, it's all geared, then nothing to do with the N1 compressor turbine. Okay. Only, only power. installations using a reversing propeller does not all have reversing propellers we do both of those are reversing propeller governor becomes ineffective during reverse thrust operation and power turbine speed NF is then controlled by the power turbine governor to approximately 95 percent Installations using the reversing prop, the propeller governor becomes ineffective during reverse thrust operation. And the power turbine speed NF is then controlled by the power turbine governor to approximately 95. That's why the beta linkage shifts from an over speed at 106 to 95 in the reverse mode. Hmm. Can we just scroll maybe a sixteenth of an inch down or a sixteenth of an inch? Real quick. Just perfect. It's used for in case of emergency. Over speed fuel governor turbine governor set 106. The other thing is, is um, where does the alpha mode begin? The power lever doesn't signal alpha mode. I mean, the, the, the condition lever can either go 52% or 65%. The power lever is still in front of that gate. Would be Is that helpful? So I'm going to clarify right now. Right here is flight idle. 
they don't they don't really show a gate here I don't think this is the gate but if you go below the gate you're in, you're going towards reverse so flight idle is where this where the power lever starts so if you put the condition lever all the way up to high idle you're 65 percent are you in beta mode or are you in alpha mode? Beta. I'd say we're still in beta. This is the book of 50 to 85, but... Well, this one is 52 to 65, from low idle to high idle. Yeah, no, I understand the book is mentioned. Beta mode was between the range of 50 to 85. To what? The book is saying that beta was in the range between 50 and 85 percent. Okay, 85 percent. So, the advancement so if you get your commission lever at high idle, your power lever at flight idle, your blades are still at 18 degrees. Yeah. Okay, and as you advance your power lever, it's first gonna gain RPM to 100% and um, 2200 RPM. And it's going to stay there because now you add more power the blades are going to start to increase in, the, in um, angle okay. to so approximately 38 degrees I think so, so it's trying to maintain 100% yes it's it does not letting you go over 100% yeah yeah so but, but the but it's trying to just blade angle to keep you at, at the 100% yeah well okay. it keeps you at the propeller 100% yeah Just like the PPE, the more power you give it, yeah. the more bigger bite you can still you can take out of the air so, so and the, still maintain that RPM. So the idea is to keep it at say, 2200 RPM. 2200 is, is what they call it, yeah. So at what point are you going from the beta to the alpha? That's a good question. So it's kind of a hazy line. Okay. Is there an error or I haven't answer? found that. I'm not going to ask that question. I don't okay. think the test even asked that question. I will ask that, I'm going to ask that question to Evelyn when I see her. So what, what about when you go to reverse? Is that consider beta or alpha? Oh yeah, you're in beta. Beta? Yeah. Even though it goes up to... Is your down the flight idle? Yeah. Um, so don't you go to reverse, it goes to 95, right? Or up to I don't know. Let me see what I have for reverse. My, my, Power lever retarded. I'm not sure where I got this from. I might have got it from the manual, but um, power lever retarded. Back in the beta mode, beta valve takes over. Power lever continues aft to full reverse. Bleeds at low pitch. Basically, when you go into reverse, that whole linkage shifts forward yeah, so it opens to, allow, to allow the piston to go into reverse. Okay, so it opens the, basically allows the oil to flow, the oil pressure to flow through. Well, first of all, when you go to reverse, automatically your linkage shifts. This is not ours. Because this one shows shows the linkage from power lever. Okay. It shifts. So it allows that feedback ring to go forward. Okay. And they don't show the stops. You're supposed to have stop nuts right around here, huh? 
Yeah. Shift that whole thing forward, allow the piston to go further out. Okay. So by yeah, so the slip ring moves forward, allowing the, the piston to move further past the wide on the reverse. But at the same time the beta valve is sliding over and allowing more oil pressure to continue to go to reverse? No, by shifting by shifting the linkage you're 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 just shifting the whole thing forward. Okay. The beta valve will act the same way except more forward. So when is the beta valve shift over and let the oil flow? Or to block the oil? When you've gotten into reverse. So in the reverse, the beta valve Otherwise it'll stop at eighteen degrees. Okay, so the beta valve is opening a line more oil to flow. As soon as that shift shifts link shifts the, the linkage shifts. Yeah. Now the beta valve operate beyond the 18 degrees into reverse. Yeah, I can see how it mechanically does that yeah. by moving the slippery cord. Yeah. But I was just wondering about what it's doing internally. Okay, we have, we'd have to go down and I'd, I'd rather you guys go down there and look at that. I'll go down there again. Okay. Because I don't want to get too involved with this valve and ours is not the beta okay. valve, it's beta link, beta linkage. Know your know your um, nomenclature too. I use you can use propeller slip ring, feedback ring. Both are called out of the manual. And these feather return springs. It helps the linkage shift. Out of feather. Is that that's not this is this is your feathering spring this gets you in the feather. So that one's wrong, then, right? For where it says where's the label feather return spring, that should be the reverse return spring, right? Yes. This is right out of the manual though. See that's where I that's why I see I'm so confused. Yeah, let's well, can we find another picture? Can we find another I don't know what I don't know if we don't believe the manual, I don't know what else to believe. Okay, here's another one. This is uh this was out of the book though. return. I'm going to have to go down there and look at that. I believe that helps the linkage get back into the, up, uh, get out of the um, reverse mode. Who's the one that's still not forward available? Who's the slipper cap? It's just off the page. It's just spring. Mm -hmm. spring. That's inside the prop. That's your feathering spring right in here. So that bottom spring is basically the slip ring back. So what's right? Is the slip ring back. Good question. I call it the reverse, the reverse, although. Well, this makes more sense, right? Yeah, the reverse return. Let's we can go down there and look at that. The one here, this one's right out of right out of the PT6 manual. Feather return springs. Hard to argue with that. Look at the parts manual. Okay, let's review.